Doom Eternal is a fantastic combat based game that tests your skills and how quickly and efficiently you can get rid of a group of enemies. To do this, the game gives you an assortment and variety of weapons and requires you to use all of them for certain weak points that are special and unique to each demon. Khaki demons are one shot staggered with a grenade in the mouth, doom hunters and those riot dudes have energy shields that need to be broken with plasma rifles, and heavy cannon for weak points. You will need all of these weapons to be effective and successful within this game. So I'm going to answer a question that no one is stupid enough to ask. Can this beautiful behemoth of a game be beaten with a weapon that was removed because it was so bad and didn't fit the combat flow? Now join me in this aneurysm inducing, rage and stupidity, caffeine fueled run of Angry Jesus 5 that I endured through so no one else would ever have to or ever want to because the gun isn't even in the freaking game. First, for the rules, the pistol is the only gun I am allowed to use. All melee attacks are allowed including the crucible, blood punch, and glory kills. The chainsaw is going to be essential as the pistol does not have infinite ammo and eats it up faster than my grandpa eats up chili dogs at an all-you-can-eat buffet. Also if I accidentally misfire any other weapon or use it in any way I have to completely reset to the last checkpoint. And last of all I'm not allowed to quit under any circumstances even if it makes me want to feel like I gotta commit toaster bath. I decided I was gonna start this run on hurt me plenty because my mind was gonna be hurting plenty enough. I started up by ignoring some exposition and a couple of people for a fundraising group for the UAC outside of Walmart who told me if I didn't donate to them, my children would suffer in the world that I destroyed. So when they needed help, I promptly teleported to the other side of the planet and told them I was busy. I entered my first actual level and was greeted by the weapon that would help me throughout- oh, hold on. And I was greeted by the weapon that would help me out throughout this entire game. This piece of utter third world trash that the devs correctly took out of the game that I would learn to hate because it literally does a rat's hair of damage. I cheesed my first boy and then entered the next room where I found the sole thing that would keep me alive. I had to grab a mandatory weapon mod to allow me to pass to the next room. I busted into the first room, did an oopsie, and the gods sent me back to where I came from. The demons didn't realize I had the power of god and anime on my side and I cleared out those rooms the same way that the templars did on their holy crusades. My FBI opened up that door and being the therapist I am, I coaxed this man and talked to him about his unnatural fears and discrimination towards coins. After the therapy session I promptly left because he had a tendency to faint, witnessed my first very thick boy, went through another arena, and then got myself another weapon that I couldn't use. I acquired a keycard and then entered the subway where I proceeded to die a lot. And due to a misfire in my heavy cannon, I also had to reset once. After I dealt with the subway nerds, I came across the spicy dumpling launcher that had more explosive capabilities than the average Taco Bell meal. This utility of destruction would be incredibly important as it would be my sole defense against Kaka demons and most of the other heavy units. Being the McDonald's employee that I am, I had to fight off Karen-like demons as if I had forgotten to put only mayonnaise on their child's hamburger Happy Meal. Even though this game keeps you diligently smashing your left click button, I still managed to pump only one shell into a Kaka demon committing rebirth at the nearest checkpoint. My boy Vega convinced me to use his budget Ouija board at the slumber party. The parents didn't like that so the party got broken up and everybody had to go home. The next day my parents tried to lecture me on why I didn't need an iPhone 11 to fit in with all the other girls. I told them that they just didn't understand and they left abruptly. And then to make things worse, the school counselor told me that being a YouTuber wasn't a viable career option. So I left. I then found my first Chuck E. Cheese token. I decided to put all these tokens into the Taco Bell breakfast category, because that is what I would be depending on to complete this run. As for Sentinel Crystals, I was mainly upgrading my health and ammo because I was going to be taking a lot of hits and I was going to have to be dealing a lot of hits. I then hopped in my teleporter and traveled to Exultia, place of Thor, son of an Odin. Right off the bat I immediately fell to my death and then proceeded to fight off some goober hackers with my nerf gun. And then I ran into this nice guy named Warren who I knew from the gym. He was apparently still mad at me for leaving my sweaty butt imprint on the bench and not cleaning it off with disinfectant wipes. I encountered my first rune where I promptly chose midair bullet time over everything else since this was going to be essential in getting those perfect shots in and not dying. I also found a Thanos gauntlet that is blood punch which would be my secondary attack on most of the heavy units in this game. I also encountered a glitch that would cause me many a gargling noise of rage. Every time I picked up a collectible object with a quick time event, 
or did a chainsaw attack and missed, it would soft lock the game and cause me to reload checkpoint. Warren must have put out a bounty for me on his Facebook group Weightlifters Anonymous because these guys would just not stop hunting me down. From my several playthroughs already, I knew this level like the back of my left foot. This run was as eventful as using a lighter to cook a hot dog, and as the third testament prophesized, I made it through this part of the level almost unscathed. I had a chat with Santa, and when he told me I couldn't get my My Little Pony's Castle Super Sparkle Collector Edition, I stole his lantern for the betterment of all young people that want to grow up to be a Pegasus Unicorn as well. I gained more Super Mario platforming abilities, and went on my way to the next part of this level. It was finally my birthday, and my parents gave unto me my first paintball gun, but being the mega chad I am, I yeeted it into a voluptuous trash can, and stuck with the nerf gun like the dedicated hunk of a chad fan that I am. A sentinel battery with a quick time animation convinced me to be a pacifist and reload my last checkpoint. Some architect must have pasted too many times because there were three doors in this one entryway. Next arena, as was to be expected, was fairly easy and I cleared it out with only one reset, due to an accidental misfire and the fact that weapons swap after you run out of ammo. An old bro from the crusading days fired up my Gucci lantern for me, did a little bit of makeshift Super Mario platforming, and headed off to the next arena. Whereas the great Bart Simpson always said, I sure made those demons eat my shorts. Afterwards, I jumped into a blue raspberry slushy machine and Scotty beamed me up. It turned out that my Gucci lantern had the ability to locate more therapy patients. So I stuck it in the ship, Vega did his thing and doxed the hacker. I then acquired an ice bomb which I decided not to use because I couldn't figure out how to and I was too stubborn to read the tutorial. Afterwards, I was forced to head to the Ripatorium, which Everybody knows, what happens in the Ripatorium stays in the Ripatorium. Now this was one of my favorite levels, so I felt like I was going to be speedrunning this thing. It was going to be easier than making a cheese quesadilla in under a minute and 30 seconds. So I crossed the yellow brick road and encountered my first Mancubus. The fight was pretty intense, but it went fairly quickly. Then two more of these big, thick, annoying boys showed up, and I realized that I was just going to have to dodge all their attacks and be persistent. I thanked this man for his service in the US medieval military, and then I did a, oh gee, who woulda guessed, another arena. Wow. I came across a would-be problem later in the level, which I easily solved with my $2 quesadilla from Taco Bell I ate earlier that day. A little bit of platforming later, and some jumping around, I found another weapon that I couldn't even use! Let's go! I entered the next arena, which was full of mancy buses. This was the case because you were supposed to use a rocket launcher on this part of the game, but seeing as I discarded that because I'm doing a pistol-only run, I knew this would be a very, very grindy nerf battle. After that display of thick boys, I found another rune and chose one that would allow me to use more and more of my equipment. This was good. I found my first snaky lady. Not difficult, just annoying. I came across a group of shield dudes who I easily took out with a bit of patience, skill, and experience. The Sholan monks that trained me would have been proud. Thank you for your service. The arena I approached next had actually given me quite a bit of trouble in my very first playthrough of this game. Thankfully, only one stupid pacification of a reset later, I had won this. It was insane. After a heck of a ton of platforming, some puzzle solving, and a few arenas later, I arrived at a place where I consensually took control of a Revenant drone. Since this Revenant drone had no melee attacks and only missile attacks, I had to make an exception for the rule that this was the only other weapon that I could use. And I do believe it was the most fun I had in the entire campaign. This Revenant was used to get my glorious super shotgun back that had the new addition of the meat hook. It was my favorite weapon in the entire series. And another one that I just couldn't use. I decided to try my luck with some in-game loot boxes, but I got pretty discouraged very quickly because I kept losing. All I got were hecking demons every single time. The second help priest thought I was a pretty cool guy and invited me over to see his brand new Lego kit. The final arena I sliced through cleaner than a hot butter through knife and continued, got on a train and left this level. Now this level caused me more physical pain and aneurysms than any other in the entire game. We'll touch more on that later, but just saying, you should really consider touching that like button and maybe subscribing. But for now, let's stick with the fact that my train ride got jumped. I finally arrived at Grand Central Station, but they didn't want to let me through, being that my green card had expired five months ago, 
Getting past the first security gate was fairly easy though. Now this next level holds a very, very special place of hatred in my heart. I had to reset so many times in this because of pacifications and misfires that it was, it was beyond joking about. I hated this arena more than the news had made me hate Hillary Clinton at the last presidential election. Because of my utter distaste for this Logan Paul of a level, let's try to get through it as quickly as possible together. Yes, I just compared it to Logan Paul. Stupid, annoying, and shows people's dead bodies in the forest. I did a sarcophagus obstacle course. I wandered around and did even more platforming. I ran into the Donald Trump of demons, who was constantly trying to build walls in front of me instead of in front of Mexico. Did more platforming. I then did another mini arena, which I ran out of ammo and had to finish with grenades. I was getting a little bit tired of doing this. So, I logged on to YouTube and watched a quick unboxing of a sarcophagus. It was epic. I then did some more platforming. And then more platforming. I ran into another one of Warren's Facebook buds in, you never would have guessed, another arena. I then awkwardly walked into a giant metal school in the next room, taking testosterone, cocaine, and steroid supplements at the same time. This overcharged his immune system and allowed him to give birth. This next bit is where things started to go downhill. I was doing some platforming when I had to go take a dump, so I paused the game and my recording, but when I got back, I had forgotten to unpause it. Being the idiot that I am, I only checked to see if it was still recording after the fact that I had beaten the Doom Hunters. I was gonna reload the checkpoint so everybody could see the fight, but instead, I accidentally clicked restart mission. So, yeah, you see where this is going. Remember how I said I despised this level? I had to restart it. I had to restart this whole piece of sh- I finally made it to the Doom Hunter, and I thought due to his energy shield I would have to make an exception of using the plasma rifle, but reading the weaknesses more carefully, I realized I could just shoot his sled. The first time I had fought him, I had to reset countless, countless times. It, it wasn't even funny, but this time I made it through with only a single misfire from my shotgun. By the way, leave a comment if you want me to upload this boss fight. It was one of my hardest. I knew this fight pretty well, and after one misfire and a pacification, I had finished this level, getting the glory kills pretty tight together so that none of the heavier enemies would spawn in. Just enjoy the rest of this clip with me. Awesome. It turns out his parents actually didn't buy him the Lego Death Star, and instead he wanted to steal my Gucci lantern, so I told him I wasn't going to invite him to my birthday party. My school counselor got wind of this and told me I wasn't allowed to bully the other kids like that. Apparently there was a recall on radioactive Pizza Hut food over in Europe, but it was too late. Too many people had eaten it, mutated, and it had become a real issue. So, my boy Vega sent me over to fix it. <sighs> also, Vega hooked me up with the ballista. God damn. Apparently radioactive pizzas destroy cities and turns everyone into demons, so I took care of that pretty quickly. Also, I encountered a glitch. I got stuck in a wall. Dang it, had to reset again. I came across my very first buff totem. This is a little thing that makes all the demons act like they've snorted about half a pound of G fuel. Oh, and for some reason on this level, I had to find a couple of color-coded soup spoons. The next arena? Well, it was an arena. I only had to commit respawn twice. I found another soup spoon, discovered that my Xbox controller was dead. I was only able to find one battery for it though. And would you look at that, another gun that I couldn't use. I'm gonna be real with you guys. Most of the enemies in this level, I just ran past if it wasn't mandatory to fight them. And it's a strategy I would definitely recommend if you want to try this run. Soup spoon! Unfortunately, I had to clear out the pizza infected area once again. These arenas were getting more and more monotonous, and it would just get worse throughout the game. Thankfully, I knew exactly where to put these color-coded soup spoons, because there were color-coded soup bowls. I found the second battery to my Xbox controller, and powered it up. It turns out it wasn't actually my Xbox controller, and it was the heart of the radioactive pizza infection. Electricity doesn't mix well with pepperoni. Then the game encouraged me to do the one thing that I had learned to do throughout this level. Run away. I was really glad that the game encouraged cowardly behavior, because that's what I'd be doing for most of the rest of the game. Then the massive pile of cheese and pepperoni blew up because I just wanted to turn on my Xbox controller, and the level was finished. Vega told me that due to my anger issues, I would have to go see a doctor, but that was pretty easy enough since I had a teleporter ready. 
Being the absolute chicken I am, I spend most of this level just running away from all the demons, because most of them were way more powerful than me, and this would be extremely difficult. This entire level was basically just a Super Mario simulator. There's really nothing special about it, so let's keep it short. A bunch of people thought I was Tom Cruise. It was a bit overwhelming because there was a ton of them, so I just shot all of them. It turns out they were demons as well, so it's okay. In this glorified cutscene, someone that I didn't know shot a weapon that I couldn't use at this tentacle. Don't worry, it wasn't me though. I must be a very attractive and sexy man because a bunch of demons thought I was Keanu Reeves. This is very flattering, but they all had to die. That same guy who aided me before, who definitely isn't me, shot a weapon at the other tentacle. It was very helpful. Thank you, sir. I'm not sure if the doctor abuses his patients, but there was a protest going on outside. Who knows why? As I headed up to the doctor's office, I took my free complimentary toothbrush. Here's to dental hygiene. It turns out the doctor couldn't see me because he was feeling quite ill and was slightly incapacitated at the moment. But that was fine. We could just take him and revitalize him. So I yeeted him through my portal and Vega beamed him out. I met my first Marauder and even in the base game, these guys aren't easy. The fight was super, super grindy and it wasn't satisfying because the pistol won't stagger these enemies. They just hecking glitch out of the game. It, it's, it's super unsatisfying. I don't like it one bit. I don't know if you can tell in this clip, I tried to focus in on him, but when I shot him, he just launched to the side, right out of the screen, and it let me pass through the portal, which is fine by me, I hate fighting those dudes. I think I might have the Karavni Iris, because these people are avoiding me like the plague. Jeez. Or maybe it's just the fact that people discriminate against gamers. The cancers being known as the Doom Hunter was becoming a more and more common enemy, and I was fighting them off easier and easier. I terrified these guys by simulating a jack-in-the-box. I don't blame them for being scared. I do have a pretty aggressive stare. Some idiot cosplaying as the Doom Slayer shot a hole in Mars. Did I mention the glorified cutscenes don't count? I then acquired the BFG, the most BA weapon in the entire game that I couldn't even use. The idea for this entire run was shit. I think there's an issue with this elevator. This next area was created as a testing ground for the BFG, seeing as it had so many heavy demons. Being the nerf gun enthusiast that I am, I was forced to use only that against all of these guys. Only died once. Proud of me? Better be. Hey, did I mention you look mighty fine today? And did you know that all of my subscribers have mega boosted testosterone and increased lady talking skills? <laughs> Just saying. Thought you might want to know. I wanted to be an astronaut as a kid, and my dreams were more than fulfilled as I was bouncing across platforms outside of Mars. I'm gonna be frank with you guys though, most of this level just required me to run past all the enemies, not really kill any. So, <laughs> well, <laughs> obviously I took that route. I was supposed to have a clip of me yeeting myself out of a cannon, but I must have not unpaused at some point because I couldn't find that clip. So, here's just me running away from other demons. Some blue chick called the UAC spokesperson started cyberbullying me. It wasn't fun. I don't know about you guys, but I'm about to head out. I got out of my little pod and was ready to get that final hell priest, but unfortunately I had one more arena before I could do that. Now in today's episode of Idiots Think I'm Important, someone in public saw the beautiful sexy hunk of a man, the spawn of John Cena and Chuck Norris that I am, and said I was famous, even though I'm not, and obviously aren't important to anyone in the world, but that didn't stop the swarm of fans that wanted my autograph. I killed them all. <coughs> Finish the level. Me walking into school looking to fly with my goodwill kicks. My parents had told me that my astronaut obsession had gone way too far and they took away my favorite helmet. This made me incredibly salty. I got in a little bit of a fight at school and the lunch duty sent me to the principal's office who stuck me in detention with that one kid. Me and him didn't get along very well. The entire gladiator fight was just essentially one really, really long game of ring around the rosy. Being the epic athlete that I am, I won. First try, for sure. Don't, don't question it, please. Together, let's just enjoy this glory kill together. Pow! Pick up the thing. And whap! And kabaloo! Principal tried to stop me. I would just like to remind you all that this is a glorified cutscene and does not count. I think it was about my time to head out. Apparently, toothbrushes are a great source of backup energy. 
Then my guy Vega, he sent me off to go collect my crucible. Apparently I would need this weapon to take down a giant cow man called the Icon of Sin that my counselor had resurrected to prevent me from becoming a YouTuber any further. The amount of doom hunters and marauders in this level was singularly enough to give me a full blown aneurysm. I did not like it one bit and it was kinda difficult, not gonna lie. But through persistence and monotonicity, I, I, I persevered. Woo. Handle. Power. Blade. A long time ago, these were the elements that kept balance in the universe and hecked up demons. I was finally ready to do the final set of missions, and it was time to go to Navrakiel. So to prepare, I turned Vega into a frisbee. I was warned that I could not go back after the set of missions, so I dumped all of my sentinel batteries into upgrades. This entire map was full of grindy moments, and I was just spending most of my time being a coward and running away. But this was fine. Woo! More Doom Hunters! Yeah! Nerf guns are extremely effective against eyeballs. Bop. Bang. Yeet. This level is complete. The next bit had a bit of, um... It had a couple of pretty challenging arenas. I tried to fit most of them in the background. And did you know that heaven's actually full of demons? I didn't, but apparently in this game it is. I'm also really trying to keep this video under 25 minutes long, so I'm trying to fit all the gameplay of this level into the background so I can break down... Oh jeez, the con maker boss fight that this... <laughs> Why did I do this to myself? This is awful. That's a cyber demon I ended up killing with only grenades. I aligned all the colorful hula hoops, and I was getting ready to beam down to earth when I got rudely interrupted by the con maker herself. This was one of the hardest boss fights, and I'm gonna give you guys some tips whether you like it or not. The con maker has six stages, and in each stage you need to completely damage her before getting air and getting the blood punch in. However, the pistol, it's a very ineffective weapon, and it takes all of your ammo to get her health bar down all the way, for the first couple stages at least. The enemies in this arena cannot be farmed for ammo, since they all need three gas to be taken down with the chainsaw. However, these enemies occasionally, when glory killed, drop a ton of ammo. However, it has to be an aerial glory kill, and all the shots have to be landed on the head. So for the first three stages of the fight, you can just farm these guys and try your luck. However, with each stage she gets more and more powerful, health going up. So you'll need to go to the specific ammo spawn point every two minutes or so, get that ammo on top of the ammo you get from a glory kill to finally stagger her in her final stages. And last but not least, die a lot. I'm not kidding. She deals a lot of damage and if you die enough times, the game will give you sentinel armor, which protects you a heck a lot. Now that you all know my ancient Chinese strategies that I beat her with, please still do not attempt this challenge. It sucks a lot. I would never wish this upon anybody especially for this fight. And just a disclaimer, this is the hardest fight in the game. Now that Squidward's mom was dead, we could finally move on to the final level of the game. Oh heck yeah, I had been waiting and waiting for this point. You do not know how excited I was to finally get this over with. It was a pain in my ass. As we dawn on the final level, I would like to thank the Diaper Booty Gang for accepting me. And to my big papa Senza, if you want to collab, Let's do it, please. I will be your protege. Just imagine it. We can answer questions that no one has ever asked before together. Uh, I, I I got a bit off topic there. Let, let's let's get back to the playthrough. Because I had basically broken the game just by using this pistol, and this building commits spontaneous combust. We had already established that I was a Chad and not a coward, so I definitely did not run away from a single fight this entire level. Now we were at the Icon of Sin. I would like to announce that I died only 46 times, that includes pacifications, misfires, and so on and so forth. I was lucky enough to only have to reset once after I accidentally fired the BFG. This was certainly not the hardest fight in the entire game, but it was the grindiest, as it took me an hour and 10 minutes to complete. If you would like me to upload this video, I will, I will, to prove it to all of you that I did it. So. To all you doubters and haters out there, leave enough comments and I'll upload it. But that's it folks, you can in fact be Doom Eternal with only the pistol, the gun that was removed from the game because it was so bad. So thank you all for joining me and getting here to this point, oh with the exception of the Revenant of course, but that that wasn't even Doom Guy, and the, and the glorified cutscenes, but, but you, you couldn't control that. If you'd like to see more of these, just leave a comment, if you have an idea for a playthrough as well, comment that as well. I'm I'm completely open and just
consider liking and subscribing. It, it'd be an honor to have all you guys on board with me in these horrible challenges. Can I have 30 seconds of quiet, please? This took me about 20 hours to complete the game alone. <coughs> and another 20 to edit this dang thing. So, thank you for being there. I will see you all next time. Love you all.